Hey, you know who I'm gonna call? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my man Carl Cherry on the line. I need my man Carl Cherry on. on... <sighs> Me and Carl, I'll be rapping with Carl a lot about like you know just music. Uh, I was rapping with him just even yesterday about like what what his thoughts was about everything going on. Can you hear? Oh, my man. It was good. I, I just picked up my coffee. Is that early? <laughs> and, yo, well, first of all, you're on the West Coast. So, right? Yo, what time is it there? Bro, it's 720. It's 7 I'm Well, number one, I'm surprised you're up. But, yo, yo, what's the word, man? <laughs> what's, what's the word? What's the word? <laughs> uh, I mean... It, it, it's so funny, right? Because if you if you take back the last take it back to last night, and rumors swirling that Drake is gonna drop, and you being the one to really give the official word that Drake ain't dropping, and then we wake up. Wait, I wait. woke up at six a.m. Like, Do you think that was part of this play? No, 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 okay. no, no. Let's be clear. Let's be very, very clear. Okay. And you know, you know, I don't, I don't claim to speak on behalf of anyone, but I know people. Yeah, I know who's who. DJ Head is a good dude. DJ Head does not speak on behalf of anyone that's involved in this battle. Okay, so oh, okay. that that was not part of the play. Okay, that but, was just because I was thinking. Him. I'm like, I'm like, were they trying to figure out if Drake's dropping? And you know he wasn't gonna say nothing. I'm like, and 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 I said something which you know obviously no one knew if it came from him or not. But I'm like, yo, Kendrick drops early in the morning. I'm like, I don't know if Kendrick drops this if if Drake did drop. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, those guys are strategic, man, and calculated. So you know, you you, you go into this kind of. Mode, you gotta have contingencies, right? You gotta have a plan A, a plan B. You gotta, you gotta cover your bases. So I don't know what the plan was. <laughs> I can tell you it worked because <laughs> people haven't even woken up yet, and this is a conversation. And it, it, just on, on a simple level, like the fact that, like, I just told you, I just picked up my coffee. Like, I, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I gotta go to the gym. <laughs> like he got people scrambling, trying to figure out what's going on at six a.m. on the West Coast. Nine a.m. is still early on the East Coast too. Hey, hey, by the way, for 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 those who are not familiar, this this is my man Carl. Me and him, we rap about um, you know just hip hop a lot. Uh, some of you guys might know him for his role at, at um, Spotify. Um, he's the head curator, Rap Caviar. You guys know him for that. Hey, by the way, interestingly enough, and as I mentioned, you know, Spotify and even Rap Caviar, this this seems to be mirroring the release of Taylor Made. He put it on Instagram. Like, when is Kendrick posted on Instagram? And it, 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 yeah. we're not even sure if this is going to get to DSPs, but I would imagine it would at some point. But he's playing this. He took literally what Drake did and did the same thing. He, he he gave him a taste of his own medicine, but there's a lot, there's a lot to to, to reference there. Going back, right? Like I want to reference the conversation you and me had on the phone yesterday, right? Yeah. Because you and I were on the same page. Yeah. And and we both agreed that it's gonna be really hard to declare a clear winner based on the landscape we're in with stand culture being so influential and like Kendrick fans they're holding him down Drake fans are holding him down so something shocking needs to happen right whether yeah. it's somebody getting exposed or just a maneuver we weren't expecting right 100% and I don't know what's to come because this battle ain't over but we were not expecting this maneuver we were not expecting Kendrick to double back. Last, 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 bro, you were part of the whole thing. Fight back, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. You had people, <laughs> they, you had them on the clock. You had everybody. Yo, Kendrick fans that I know were hitting me like, yo, cool, what's up, man? And I'm like, wait, what you mean? You a Kendrick fan, right? You know how he moves. You're getting 
You getting pers- like you getting swayed by the clock? Wait, wait. Let me yeah. ask you a question, right? Because and, and, and you know, I actually don't even think this is a diss. I think it's a I think it's a respectable chess move because he he, he he references me in the, in the track and he says, I think Act is getting compromised. You get what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, now that you mention, I mean, I guess I was at the spearhead of the, of the movement of, yo, when is Kendrick responding? Kendrick is responding. I guess, if he's, I, I guess. <laughs> if he's not responding, he's running from the beef. When is he going to respond? But that's not because of Drake, though. It's like, I felt, and first of all, also, I'm in media. Don't let me get hyped for a moment, and then it doesn't happen. So a lot of that was because of I just wanted to see it happen. It, but, but but you really doubted that he was gonna come back though. I, yo, that's I took, the thing that I, that's the thing that was puzzling to me. Like when 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 I was seeing people saying like, "Yo, is he coming back?" When people were starting to doubt that Kendrick was just gonna do nothing, I was like, "Are y'all crazy? Are y'all fa- are you familiar with this dude? You no. really think he's just gonna sit back?" And let people think. Yeah, hey, come on, bro. No, no, I th- ah, that's that's no, wild. No, 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 hold on. I thought I didn't say he was never gonna respond. I, I, I thought he wouldn't understand the immediacy and urgency of the moment that required a respond response in a timely fashion that would probably either hasten his his um creative process which if we all know kendrick moves on his own time when you're in a battle though the time there is a shot clock of sorts because now people want to declare a winner or want to declare that someone else has bowed out so time is of the essence. I didn't think that he would compromise his creative process or, or his normal method of moving to to actually respect that. And clearly he has. He has. He definitely has. He cares about this battle. And uh, he said one thing very interesting, and I, and I could tell how he's approaching this. He says, I'm in war. He literally said it. Yeah, he says something about peace, but... But I, I, if it's something about war, if the world wants you to bleed, y'all yeah, caught that. But, but, but here's the thing. In the last 48 hours, there's been a debate back and forth on who has the advantage. It, it, to me... What you said yesterday I, was shocking to me. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And I'll, I'll be honest. Repeat, I, repeat what you said, Carl. Yeah, yeah I, I, I will be honest. I... And, and you, you you love to cut people off, so let me get this off. <laughs> I, I I think if, I think Euphoria is a great a, a great song. And the first twenty four hours, I was like, oh, God got it, advantage Kendrick. And the next forty eight hours, I just spoke to a lot of people and saw a lot of people who felt like Drake had the lead, and I was confused. I was like, wait, what? Drake has the lead? And then I started hearing, like, the reasoning behind it, right? And the main thread that I kept hearing was that Kendrick used a lot of topics that have been out in the air already. So it kind of softened the blows, right? Now, (laughs) today, I don't want to hear a single person say, Oh, uh, no, it, Kendrick has to clearly. I mean, it's, 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 he, he gave, he's being Drake in his own game, right? And it's, 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 it's in several ways. First, people speculated that you weren't going to respond, and people thought, well, Drake might hit him with a second one, or he might keep bombing on him for months. Who knows? So, you hit him back to back. In four days, remember what Drake said to me? I've been waiting for four days, nigga, where y'all at? Right? Go back to uh, Euphoria. Back to back, I like that record. And then he said something about, we'll get back to that for the record. Right? Mm. So he's be- he's giving him a taste of his own medicine but I think one of the things that people aren't talking about is that within the context of this battle, um, Kendrick is doing numbers, right? 
And he's doing numbers that Drake is going to need to match. Now, there's a there's a, a caveat or asterisk next to push-ups because it leaked first. It was um it was on DSP six days later. So that's that's not a fair evaluation, right? But the fact is, back to, um like that one number one, right? It, it, it was like what the biggest rap song. Oh my god, <laughs> my phone died. Yo, Carl. Don't clock it at Spotify yet. I need you for the stream. Hold up. Let me charge my phone back up. Shit, my shit, my shit died. My phone's like... Nah, he was cooking. He was cooking. That's my boy called Cherry. I'm going to call him right back. I just got to get this phone back on. Nah, he was cooking. And actually, you know, uh, you know, I, I think you know he's giving his opinion, and I think he's pretty fair with it. He's pretty fair with it. By the way, I looked up the numbers for uh, on Euphoria for day two. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Euphoria is doing some ridiculous numbers. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I like uh, what's the name? Um, Carl told me this point yesterday, which I don't want to step over his point by just repeating it. But um essentially, let me see if we can find where's the charts uh charts. Um, but essentially. Actually, I, I just won't step on this point, period. <laughs> I'll get him back on. All right, my phone is back, coming back on. My bad. Anyway, yo, Kendrick, remember I told you, he, ha he has the biggest song for any day in that was released in 2024. So he did 9 million globally, right? He did 9 million globally yesterday. No, no, two days before. You know what he did yesterday? The nigga did 8 million. Look. Let me call. Let me call Carl. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Sorry, y'all. Hmm. Yeah, my bad. My my phone had died. I, I, I think I think I think you were making a point. And and I had something to even add on to it. You, you were talking about the numbers, and trust me, yeah, early yeah, this let, morning. Let, let, let me let me finish that. Let me finish that. Um. So so yeah, within the context of this battle, Kendrick is doing numbers, right? And that's that's who Drake is. Like he's the numbers guy. He has the most number one all time out of all rappers. Like he was once number one six months, you know, in 2018. Um. You know, I think we can all objectively agree that there's a gap in terms of numbers between Kendrick and all the other rappers in his generation. But when you look at like that going number one for three weeks, um, before you having the biggest first day stream on Spotify, you know, there's like a, a, a metrics that I feel like Drake is going to need to reach whenever he responds also. Right. Oh, you know, let's say he, he responds, and, and here's the thing, let's be real, right? It's going to do fantastically well. It is Drake. Um, everyone's curious. So when he responds, he's going to do numbers. But I do think it's interesting that the numbers we've seen from Kendrick so far have been so massive. And I'm not sure Drake is going to be able to match them. That's going to be interesting. What if we walk out of this and he's beaten him? He, he has beaten Drake at his own game. Not only did he pull the back to back move on him, but when you look at the numbers, okay. they point to Kendrick having been more commercially successful. Oh, by the way, can I make a counterpoint to that? And by the way, everybody in the chat watching, I'm not. I'm trying to make this point. I'm not compromised. I'm making a valid point. <laughs> now everything I say that might go in Drake's favor is I'm compromised. Yeah. Well, 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 here's the thing. I think what what um what Kendrick did, and by the way, he didn't do it first because we seen Ross do it, and Ross dropped it on DSPs like same day. Yeah. And also, yeah. by the way, the, the back and forth between Chris Brown and Quavo, you know, Qu Quavo damn near dropped a single as of this song. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So people are playing the DSP games. And also, even if we go back to J. Cole, J. Cole dropped an album, but that was all, also on DSP, 7-Minute Drill. Yeah. Historically, when yeah. Drake has dropped these songs mentioning 
like even the, even those timestamp joints, yeah. they were always like, yo, these these were like the 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 October's um very own blog spot or like a SoundCloud release. They were never like, yo, I'm dropping yeah. this as yeah. a single. Like yeah. Euphoria, which by the way, take like that's such a great produced song and like even structured. It, it, that would be a waste if it never got to DSPs. But I do think Kendrick has you know um probably up the ante where now Drake has to. I, I don't think Drake really cares that much to drop. He knows he's the biggest artist. I don't think he cared that much to drop these songs on DSPs. But then people are saying, is it AI? Is he claiming it? So now I think he's going to have to play that game. But I think shit becomes a little bit different, too. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait. <laughs> like, this is, I mean, we talked about it, like, you know, off the air. It's a historic battle. Like, they're, they're, they're resetting parameters for, you know, how battles are fought. So it's, it's it's an incredible time. Hey, by the way, remember, I so we were talking about numbers yesterday, and one of the big parts of the discussion when it came to me, when it came to the the numbers Euphoria was pulling, was, hey, let's see if there's a significant drop-off. Because I do think so many people were shocked that Kendrick responded when he did and wanted to hear it, that people were going to run to wherever to, 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 to go watch. He did ridiculous numbers on, on, by the way, you know the numbers for First Day Euphoria on YouTube yeah. is bigger than the than the numbers. Obviously, we know Drake, Drake officially put it up on his YouTube like a week later. But First Day alone, is it, Euphoria's numbers on YouTube is bigger than Push Up's numbers, right? And yeah. um, I, I said to you, I said, you know, what's going to be telling is if the numbers stick or they start to sharply decline because people only came to see the response at once and they never come back. Euphoria, I look at today, it has, um, you know, yesterday it did nine point some million on, on Spotify, right? Today, yep. it, today globally it did 8.3. So it's yep. still doing like, you're, if you're doing over 6 million, period. Like that's, that's, that's huge. So it's, it, it hasn't really declined as much which is kind of showing that Kendrick is a really a formidable force, at least um, numbers wise, or the song is is sticking a bit where people keep playing it daily rather than saying, ah, nah, that's just, we just came to listen to it one time and then we're done. Yeah. I mean, it, it's going to see a drop off eventually, right? All songs do. Uh, I just wonder when it's going to happen, right? Like um, when we were talking yesterday, I was telling you, I think, I think through the weekend, the numbers are either going to stay the same or even go up, right? Because on um, Thursday, Friday, like all the new music came out right today, mm -hmm. so more people on streaming services, right? Like listening to all of the new drops, and like also the, the more casual fans and like the people that are still becoming aware of this battle and that Kendrick dropped, like they're consuming it for the first time. So I think through the weekend. If the numbers are going to hold up, we got to see what happens next week. And then we also got to see what takes our attention, right? Um, gonna drop in next week. Not not the same tier of artists, but, you know, it is significant within the space. So we're going to shift and, like, you know, go and see what's going on there. Obviously, I would be shocked if Drake doesn't drop soon, especially with the back-to-back, -back, right? So... You want to talk about the clock, and I do agree that there is there is a shot clock, but Drake, I, I think it needs to be fair down the middle, right? So he gets the same amount of days to respond. I agree. Um, and I wonder if there's now going to be a heightened sense of urgency to respond quicker because he got his own trick pulled on him. And by the way, by the way, to, to add on to that last point and thinking about how the dynamic between how battles are now probably going to be fought because again if we're introducing this thing where w what are you charting on dsps are you releasing it like because again these aren't mixtape releases anymore yeah. so so to to have push-ups on dsps you have to like you know back in the day nigga would just jump on somebody's beat that can't be the case not saying either one would but even how i see like yo, know, there's an al green sample in this in this new kendrick kendrick song to get that on dsps you got to go hit up the estate and really go do some business. Yeah. So it yeah. that 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 turns be, it, it it commercializes what the disc record actually is, but also now 
that might be to either the benefit or the detriment of fans because like for example you you know i've never gotten official confirmation on this because one of my pet peeves is that i still can't play duppy freestyle on dsps i gotta go to like yeah. youtube or some other place like you know it's just not a s smooth seamless listening experience and um i particularly think it's maybe and that's usually what what, what happens when songs never make the dsps maybe some sample clearance issues or something of the sort so yeah. if 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 everything has to now end up on dsps Artists probably have to even take the approach of certain beats like, yo, we, yo, we, let's not fuck with this beat because that this motherfucker ain't going to never clear it. And let's yes. kind of – so it, it's a different dynamic. It, shit is changing. Yeah, it, is, it is changing, but I also think the numbers are more important in this particular battle because Drake is involved and he's been <laughs> the Michael Jackson of streaming. You know, um, you know, some people would say that he's been playing the numbers game, right? Like it's just – it, it's one of the things that he gets to flex and boast about because it's just the gap between and everybody else is so big. Um, so, so I think it's a, I agree with you. I think it may play a part, you know, down the line, but I think it's a bigger part of this particular battle because the two artists are massive, but specifically because Drake is involved. Because if you have, well, nobody's talking about numbers in Quavo versus Chris Brown, right? It's different. Yeah. Um, you know, not all battle battles aren't all equal, right? We're, we're gonna. This is this is Jay Z versus Nas for the kids, right? This is, and I don't want to hear no generational bullshit about people saying, "Oh, you know, call you well and man, it's not the man." It's a different time, but it is as epic. If you're 15 right now, you're living through this, like you're 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 witnessing a historic moment in hip hop. No, um, absolutely, and, and by the way. So Euphoria, Euphoria, two days on YouTube, ten million. Drake, um, Push Ups, which has been on for a couple weeks, seven million. Um, I'm wa I'm watching the Spotify numbers. Uh, even though, by the way, you know this is definitely unfair to Drake because it was literally not on any of his official pages for a week. But Euphoria, in literally, uh, that, that, was that's it? That's on them. Act, that's on them. That's on them, though. They they control that. Yeah, but but like. I, for whatever reason, this is the approach I felt like I got from Drake. I I don't think he wanted, I think he wanted to battle, but not necessarily, oh, I'm trying to commercialize or capitalize monetarily off this battle, which, which I mean, number one, is kind of dumb not to, but I think he just wanted to rap. Like, yo, let's just drop yeah. a bunch of songs. <laughs> However they get out, the, the, the people are going to hear it, and they're going to just judge. Yo, we hearing this shit, we think this is better, rather than, yo, you know what I mean, this is a time for commercial whatever. Yeah, I, I, so I, I agree with you. I think, I just think it's the sign of the times. It's, it's the best decision, right? Like, you're, you're reaching more people that way, I feel like. Um, but let me ask you a question, though. Because mm -hmm. as a fan of the, the sport, I've been trying to predict what each side side should do every step of the way yeah. right and one of the things that i've been hearing is that drake's next course of action is to drop the hit record right like his version of what i mean he did it first right well before um back to back right but the next one is the club banger and this is when he's unloading all of this is but he makes it a hit where it's inescapable so everyone has to hear it everywhere. Do you think that's what is going to happen next? Uh, if it, it, I do think that's going to happen. However, if I'm Drake, I also start thinking about packaging as well. Yeah. If I'm Drake, I come with scary hours. Was it four at this point? Just like how the release of God's plan was linked with diplomatic immunity. Like, that was yep. such, like, a great contrast, right? Where if, if you just want the bars of me dissecting this motherfucker, go here. If you want the song that we're going to be partying to for the next five months, we got you too. I think that's so, I think that combined, and, and I'm thinking if Drake is saying, you know what, the more I go rounds with this guy, he's going to keep doing this because I, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, I said it before. Yo, Kendrick is kind of making this 
kind of almost sound like a murder mystery. Like he's writing like a like a beautiful novel where he's like having <laughs> riddles and hey, remember I said, have you ever played that? Have you ever? Well, let's play it now. Are you ready? Like yo, what the fuck? The nigga sounded like Jigsaw. What the fuck? The nigga think you say Saw Ten? The hell going on? It's, so it's, if it's, it's on brand, like, like okay. well, if I'm you Drake, don't want him to dumb it down, right? You don't want him to dumb it down. Like, I, I, I love it. I love that I heard this morning. Like, yo, uh, uh, today's the day. It, it's six sixteen in LA, and today's the day OJ got acquitted for killing two white people. <laughs> what? And there's a glove <laughs> on the cover. Oh, yo. Also, apparently six sixteen. <laughs> 616 is Canadian Father's Day. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, actually, yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, by the way, wow. <laughs> do, 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 do you think he's that meticulous or some of these things kind of fall, coincidentally fall in line? I, I, he is that meticulous, and I think and that's the beauty of art. I think that, like, I, you, you interview a lot of people. Have you ever broken down somebody's music in an interview and they didn't know what you were talking about, but it made sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, so I think a lot of it is strategic and calculated and deliberate. And I think the universe sometimes takes care of the rest. But mm. knowing those guys, <laughs> they are planning everything, every step of the way. So it's. I, I, I would the likelihood of a lot of it or any of it being a coincidence to me is low. But I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go to work for, for real. But uh, I got one more question for you. Yeah. And I think we have to enjoy this moment because we haven't had one like this in a minute. But the one thing I'm starting to think about now that we're in round two or round one because you said it's round one, right? Yeah, I, I think this is almost, we can't count this as round two. I, I think this is like a mid-round be between, Drake's next song is going to be round two. That's what I'm thinking. Because okay. do we want to count Taylor made freestyle versus, you know, the, this song 616? Yeah, it, it's not it's not a perfect science. But, but my thing is, how much longer is this going, right? Because... I thought about it, and I'm like, all right, three rounds, and then, like, call it a day, right? Because I also, as much as I'm enjoying this moment, I don't want him to keep going until the end of the year, back and forth. Oh, I, I do. it's going to get old <laughs> I do. after a while, right? <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> hey, by, hey, by the way, to answer that, I said this to you, and I I'm going to say it now publicly, which I, I have said before, and I think a lot of people disagree with me. I believe Drake is the underdog in this battle. I yeah, think I don't agree with that. I, I, I think people believe Drake has won too much. And by the way, Kendrick fans have collaborated with, it's like the Floyd effect. The, we're watching to see this nigga lose more than we care about Kendrick winning. So there's a shit ton of fans, and I think that's the majority, of people who are tired of watching Drake win for the last 15 years. They're, they're tired of many different things about him that they want to see him humbled and catch a L. They have tagged on with Kendrick fans, and most of them Kendrick fans are purists, right? Now, I believe, remember, remember we talked about it, it was like, hey, th this is probably going to, unless there's a big expose, it probably is going to be one of those where, where, like, I might say A1 and you might say B1 and we could debate till the end of time, but it's yeah. that close, right? Yeah. I think that the majority of people are going to say Kendrick wins if we keep getting these 10-9 rounds, they're going to say Kendrick wins and they got to look at it like boxing. When you fight a um when you fight a, a fighter who has the belt, they always say don't let it get to the cards. You got to knock him out. I think Drake has to g deliver a knockout punch to overwhelmingly be thought of as the victor in this battle. He has to deliver a knockout punch. So so I I you know we we agree that it, it needs to be a knockout punch. Um, I think that now Kendrick has the advantage, and I think he made it really difficult. The path for Drake to come back and pull off something that makes it feel like he delivered a knockout punch, I think it's becoming a lot trickier. Like, you know, going back to the song itself, like, you know, part of the criticisms about Euphoria is that he's talking, Kendrick is talking about stuff that we've heard before, right? Well, that whole angle about, like, 
Have you ever thought that OVO niggas are working for me? That's something that at least publicly no one's talked about before. So that's an interesting angle, right? And he's doing a good job neutralizing either all of the things that Drake has already put out there or things that he knows he's going to try to step on, right? So I think I think it's going to be really hard for him to come back and deliver a knockout blow. But let me get back to this underdog thing. Drake is not the underdog. It doesn't make sense to describe somebody this massive as an underdog. Like, the numbers speak for themselves. And even in the Battle of Arena, uh, the Battle Arena, right? Drake is the most battle-tested artist of his generation. He's going at it with Push, Meek. People damn forget that he went at it with Common. And by, by the way, Common was battle-tested in his own right in his day. So you can't... Let, let, let's, let's use the boxing analogy, right? If Kendrick and Drake are coming into this fight and Kendrick's record is 0-0 zero and zero coming in and Drake's record is 2-1, and one, how is Drake the underdog? Well, I'm I'm talking about only in the court of public opinion, but but uh, to, nah, to evoke bro. to evoke LeBron a lot, right? LeBron won so much. Not only do we see similar things, niggas clicking up, niggas basically saying we need this nigga to lose. Which, by the way, that's an angle I've I've just never seen hip hop like embrace as much. Where Kendrick just yep. says, "Nigga, I'm a fucking hater," and and people are like, "Yo, that shit was hard. Yo, that shit was great. It's the best hating I ever heard." Um, but beyond that, it's like. There's been many times that LeBron has gone into things where, yes, he is the greatest player, you know, you know, probably of all time. But in those series, he was the underdog, and there was overwhelming amount of people hoping to see him lose. So, so again, that's that's all that's all I'm saying because you know, this is going to be judged. You got to remember, this is going to be judged by the people. I think there. Let, let, let me, let me the counter. fans let me that Dre got. The fans that Drake got, I don't think the majority of them are invested in this beef as opposed to people that want to see him lose and people who like Kendrick, who mostly you would identify with backpackers or pro-black dudes who are purist. So if it goes to the cards, I just think there's more people who are invested in this that want to see Drake lose than actually don't have a horse in a fight. Yeah, I don't necessarily think that makes you an underdog, but going back to the LeBron analogy, right? LeBron mm -hmm. was only considered the underdog before he went to Miami. Once he won that title, he wasn't an underdog. He was the favorite. So that's a very, especially considering he's been in the league for 21 years, that's a very short window in his career. So I understand what you're saying. Because um, it's like, it's um you used a great word last time we were on live, right? A coup. That's what it felt like, right? It's like everybody gang ganging up. Well, like, um, I like the Thanos analogy, right? Or the Avengers. Like, it's, you know, all of these dudes, this guy is, this one guy is so powerful, we got to gang up on him. And by the way, ain't no damn way, again, ain't no damn way Kendrick would have made himself part of some kind of cool, right? Um, pretty sure he, he, he looks at Drake and, you know, always wanted to go mano y mano or not. Like, oh, like, let me uh let me call ASAP Rocky and make sure he throws in a jab. But um, let's see, man. Like, let, 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 you know, Drake. Uh, I, I'm sure Drake won't make this wait for too long to drop the response. So it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes moving forward. Hey, hey. By the way, if again, again with the hate, the hate aspect. Um, if if allegedly, right? If allegedly, maybe, you know, um. What's the name of that song? First person shooter could have had all three of them on it. And maybe that's allegedly the feature request that, you know, uh, was declined. Clearly, Drake was not in a space of, yo, fuck this guy. Of course, they've taken these little pot shots at each other, but he wasn't in the space of saying, fuck this guy. Kendrick looked like he really just hate this nigga and has been hating him for a while. That, that don't seem weird to you? Uh... I clearly, I, mean, I clearly consider you a peer and can't hate you enough where I'm saying, hop on the song that's going to be on my album, yet you seem to have a lot of vitriol for me. And I, and I believe it's all around, like, it, it's kind of interesting, like, I'm probably arguing a point that, like, no, nobody really cares about that much, but 
Yeah. It, it feels like the disdain for Kendrick is about what Drake has became and the success level he's gotten. But Kendrick basically says, that's exactly what I don't want, which it kind of puzzles me. Nigga, if you don't want that or you ain't willing to sacrifice whatever to go get that, why the hell are you mad at another nigga who did? I, I, I don't, I think, I think you're, I think you he simplified it in those lines, right? Like he, he simplified it to walk, talk, dress, right? Um, and you're, you're making it much bigger. I don't think he's jealous of the success. I think that, you know, he, he, he had a line about, uh, in, in his new song about, I'm sorry, my life is boring. That's why you can't get no dirt on me. You know, I'm just be, I just like my peace. Um, he knows going into this that being a recluse, someone who is not overexposed, there are limitations to your reach that way, right? Wait, wait. There's no way you could resent the amount of success Drake has had if you're going into it knowing that you're not going after the same thing. So I don't buy that. I think, let's be real, right? It is rap. You know, it is theater to some extent. So the hater thing... Does Kendrick hate Drake? Like hate? Like if we're being literal and using the word in his proper meat with, with his proper meaning? Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Man, um, that nigga sound the no, biggest no, no, listen, hater. Listen, <laughs> I, wait, listen, listen, listen. Both sides have tapped into narratives that already are out there. And let's be real, Drake is hated in general, right? Sometimes it's unwarranted. Sometimes some of his behavior is like picked apart. So. I think my perspective is that that's what he's doing. He's tapping into something that's already out there. You saw it. Um, uh, somebody referenced the DMX interview from Breakfast Club. Where he's like, I don't like nothing. I don't like his hair. I don't like the way you want. <laughs> right? So I think he was tapping into something that's already out there. And when you do that, you resonate with people who feel the same way. Hey, by the way, this is why, you know, not to double back on this point, but this is why I was saying that uh, Drake's the underdog. You hit the nail on the head with, yo, again, w what makes you, like, again, you could be the, fa like, LeBron was the underdog in the series with Denver, but was he still considered the greatest player probably ever? Yes. That's what I was saying. Like, in this battle, think about it. It's not like Meek Mill, where Meek Mill had a lot of holes in his persona and in his artistry that you could get at and in his career. You know nothing about this guy. If we talk about, and, and battling is a MC sport for the most part, battling wise, and as an MC, this guy is actually just pretty much pristine. So you have more things for him to get at. You have more holes in your either character that might be got divulged from whatever public thing or you hanging with this girl or whatever the case is. You, you, you he seems untouchable while you seem like you're an easier target for him. Like, what Meek Mill was, except I don't think Drake is stupid. What, How easy of a target Meek Mill was for Drake is what Drake is for Kendrick. Like, bro, like, he could go on any, like, he touched on 30 different routes he could go on. Yo, I could get at uh, you about how you really didn't start, black, start acting black enough until you started hanging with some black Americans. How you've been cosplaying with your voice this and third. How you have you you're creepily hanging with these like he he could dissect Drake. What could Drake get at this nigga about? Yo, you're a midget. You feel me? Like like yeah. he he doesn't have that much on unless even though he's been teasing that he got some. We're gonna see though if if, if it kind of manifests. Yeah, I, yeah, I I don't know what you can say about Kendrick. Um, and I understand your logic. I just really struggle with thinking of Drake as an underdog because he's just so massive and he's been doing it at the biggest, highest level for so long. And again, I'll leave you with the boxing analogy. They stepped into the ring. One fighter having won two and lost one. And one fighter, zero, zero record. Hold on, In but also, one fighter just came off of a loss and we know his Achilles heel. We, we know that if you hit him with maybe an expose that has to do with some family shit, we don't know how he will take that the second time around. The first time... He, he he took a knee and he, he got out the ring. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. again, yeah. we'll see. Hey, by the way, oh, last thing, do you think? Because here's another strategy. I think, man, if you even go back to Ether, a lot of people always say Ether was a great song, but it was polluted with lies. Shit, if I'm Drake, I'm making up a lie. 
<laughs> like, we don't got to be truthful here. We just got to sound good and be disrespectful. <laughs> if I can't find the truth, that's why I, I, I think Kendra keeps says, saying, yo, hey, um, don't tell a lie about me and I won't tell the truth about you. If I'm Drake, I would have started the lies already. Like, fuck all that. <laughs> well, 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 so in push-ups, Drake implies that there's beef between Top Dog and Kendrick. That was one of the lies. That's not true. Now, I don't know if he did it on purpose. I don't know. Well, if well did he imply or did he just imply that, hey, listen, you were in a fucked up deal with, with Top and anything he said goes, you were pretty much getting extorted. He he well he I think I think he well, I think he did both because remember like he said now you're on your own when you're speaking up as if like he he lost backing and Kendrick countered by referencing top in the response so you know going back to what you're saying about like I'm gonna just make stuff up it, it's just my knowledge of things right I heard some of the references in push ups and I was like not true. Um, not true, but I think because Kendrick has been built up as this guy, he's a high character guy, right? That's the, that's the, that's, that's the way he's viewed. So you can try to make up some, first of all, you already warned you on a record. Hey, <laughs> if this dude comes out and says X, Y, Z, cap, but then at the same time, if you still go forward and say it, are people even going to believe it? Mm. We'll see. I, I I gotta go for real. <laughs> All right, my man. We'll catch All you right, bro. I right, let him. Peace. All right, I got a nice little forty minutes out of my boy. That was called Cherry of Spotify. Salute and love to Spotify, you know. And um, salute and love to my man Carl. You know, me and him. He's very objective. Like, you know. By the way, he's he's probably one of the most well-deserving people of his job title. Think about how hard it is. He makes the most popular playlist out, which is Rap Caviar, right? The playlist that basically fucked up radio. And he has to basically be very neutral. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he could have an opinion here or there because, you know, he's kind of the head curator. But, you know, he can't. I always told him, I'm like, if I had your job, I would have really got some of these artists out of here quicker. You know what I mean? But he got to keep it fair. And I do think he keeps it fair. I think he keeps it amazingly fair. And um, that's why I think his opinion and voice, even on this, is even well warranted. By the way, let me see. Did they playlist? Did Rap Caviar playlist Euphoria? Rap Caviar. Ooh, yeah, it's number one. And they got push ups. They're keeping it fair. They got Euphoria number one, Push Ups number two. By the way, there's 16 million people who subscribe to this playlist. Wow. Now, okay. So, this is the thoughts of me, right? Um, I believe Drake was probably in the middle of cooking something up. Maybe even has it done. I don't know. Really, I truly don't know. I think what this has done is thrown a slight monkey wrench into it. Only if he cares to respond to really the majority of the allegations in here. Now, what are these allegations? We're going to go break it down. Overall, Kendrick said, yo, we still got a leak in your team. Hey, we see you trying to do your normal tricks to influence this beef. It's actually not working. Uh, what else did he say? We should probably pull the lyrics up. Give me one second. Kendrick Lamar 616. By the way, all to give me knowledge like it's high school. Cause you know she feel her presence all on YouTube. All my dogs be leaving footprints like it's blues clues. Blues clues. Blues clues. Blues clues. 